Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of someone who is very emotionally mature. This is someone who has feelings, but they're patient with it, and there's this feeling of being of controlling their emotions. So on the surface, this person, I'm seeing them looking um, more calm, but still waters run deep. There's a lot of depth to their emotions here. This person has so much love and empathy towards you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Three of Swords, Air Energy, the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So this could be someone you had a breakup with. Uh, there's some sort of a heartbreak with the Three of Swords and with the Nine of Pentacles, we're seeing like going from the Ten of Pentacles to the Nine, it's like you're single from this person or you're, you've turned your back on them in some way because you are looking independent and self-sufficient. But this person still holds space for you they still have love for you um you could have been in some sort of commitment with them at some point or this is something they're still hoping to have with you okay so let's clarify these cards gemini Okay, we have the nine of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so they do see you as a wish fulfillment they see you as someone that they want to share their emotions with they want to get closer to but they're also seeing you as very independent like you're doing well without them they feel like you're satisfied with the way things are so let's see okay we have the eight of swords air energy the five of pentacles in the reverse earth energy and the seven of cups was energy so this person a lot of their views are assumptions when it comes to you they they're looking at you as thriving without them they are seeing you as someone they can't take action towards with the eight of swords they do see themselves as having their hands tied yeah but they are very much thinking about you a lot and what transpired between you with the three of swords it looks like you had some sort of painful situation with this person um, but they want to get closer to you we have the five of pentacles in the reverse but right now it's like they this these are intentions these are desires but there's no real action being taken you're just heavily on their mind and they may be dreaming about you with that seven of cups you are the ideal person and this person does want to be closer to you okay so i'm gonna put an oracle card for you So we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So um, I do see someone who's still holding on to hope. Yeah, they still feel like this situation can work out, but they, they're waiting for something. It's like they're playing the long game. They feel like now isn't the time to take action, but they still have hope for this connection. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings okay so you are being seen as someone who's independent you could be being viewed as exploring your options possibly having new love this person though they they haven't moved on i'm seeing someone is still lingering on this situation okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you. Okay, so 
so we have domestic happiness and devoted affection i will win thee in my arms so dark the woodbine the honeysuckle gently in twist so they still see you guys being together in the end this is what they're hoping for they do see you as someone that they feel like you guys would be a happy um couple who could share a successful home life and um they still have love for you a lot of affectionate energy here okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice gemini Okay, we have surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with the uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.